At some point, each of us has seen the work of another artist and wish that we could create something as good as them. Call it comparison or inspiration. Either way, it usually leads to us having questions. What camera were they using? What lens? What were the settings? No matter how the questions are answered, one thing is prevalent. There is no such thing as a shortcut to greatness, but here are two words that will help you get there. Practice and patience. So, practice. You might be rolling your eyes right now and contemplating clicking out of this video, but give me a second. I recently listened to the book The Practice by Seth Godin, 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 whatever. And while you may interpret the word practice as repetition to gain skills, in this video, I am referring to a practice, so a procedure, a habit, or a routine, if you will. The book talks about creativity as a choice. Essentially, if you want to be a better photographer, full-heartedly decide that you are a photographer, and then form a practice of creating that supports that identity. Then, if you want to take it one step further, add to your practice a component of sharing your work, and that will only further confirm your identity. There is something about having a schedule of sharing your work that forces you to create and improve. Speaking of a content creation schedule, you can find a new video on this channel every Thursday and I make personal development content for creative souls. So if you are a creative soul on a personal development journey, hit that subscribe button and become a Voyager today. Anyways, long story short, being persistent and consistent yields results, and the only way you will ever become better at your craft is by practicing your craft. I'm not going to try to sell you on certain gear or act like I have some revolutionary tip that will change your life, but I will deliver some tough love and remind you that you already know deep down inside what needs to be done. If you struggle to stay consistent, then maybe give this book a listen and see if the insights that it holds helps you out. But ultimately, remember that it doesn't matter how many books you read or YouTube videos you watch. What matters is how much time you actually put into your practice. Anyways, let's move on to patience. While it is important to be patient with yourself and the process of gaining skills, I think in order to fully develop yourself as a visual artist, you have to be patient as you perform. When you are taking photos or videos, it is way too easy to rush through the process. Have you ever finished a photo shoot and then looking back on it, realized that everything was kind of just a blur? I've been there. Sometimes the pressure to deliver doesn't grant us the time to consider all possibilities. By the way, that is a direct quote from this book, The Creative Act, A Way of Being. It's not the first time I've referenced this book on this channel, and it probably won't be the last, but I highly recommend. Anyways, patience and kind of just slowing down in the moment helps you fully process what's happening and actually learn from it. Doing multiple takes, making subtle changes and paying attention to small details, or even taking the time to relearn a technique so that you can fully master it. All these are ways that patience can help you be better at what you do. Of course, there are so many factors that go into improving your skills, but ultimately showing up consistently and fully learning from what you are doing is what will turn you into a visual artist that others wish that they can create as good as. And with that, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, bye.